This is Nick Nardone bringing you gear reviews, how-tos, and walkthroughs. Today we'll be reviewing the Microtubes B3K Base Overdrive and Distortion Pedal from Dark Glass Electronics. Let's go ahead and unbox the B3K. Box came all the way from Finland. Inside, find some bubble wrap with our B3K box. What's unique about it is it actually has a magnetic latch to it. Inside you'll find the B3K and some cut foam. Now I will note that the B3K comes with no type of uh, documentation or an instruction manual of sorts, uh, but the Dark Glass website is fairly descriptive of how to use the pedal. Now the people over at Dark Glass did a uh, great job on the looks of the pedal. It appears they used a aluminum plate on the top. It uh, looks to be black anodized aluminum. You can see sort of a brushed look to it. It looks really neat. Nice printing on top. Um, easy to read font that they use there. And I like the layout of the knobs as well. Um, it's all really well placed. Nice and tight and compact. You don't have any issues turning any of the knobs. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the back plate off. And uh, let's take a look inside. All right, I've got the back off the pedal here. Go ahead and take a quick look on the inside. Clean wiring. Looks like I've got a revision 3.1. I'm not sure how many revisions dark glass has made. Looks pretty good in there. Not a whole lot to see. The B3K has three knobs. Blend, which blends your affected distorted signal with your clean dry signal. Level which adjusts the overall output level of the pedal, and drive, which adjusts the gain of the distortion. The B3K also has two toggle switches, labeled attack and grunt. Attack, when in the boost position, which is up, offers you a high frequency treble boost, and the grunt switch has three different levels of bass boost, labeled fat, thin, and raw. I believe raw leaves the low end of your signal unaffected. Now the B3K is of course a true bypass pedal. It has one quarter inch input, a single quarter inch output, your standard center pin negative barrel power plug, and a very bright blue bypass LED. Let's hear how this pedal sounds. Here's my dry unaffected tone, first finger style, and then with a pick. I'm going to go ahead and uh, match my volume, uh, both bypass with the uh, buffered signal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, also show you how transparent the buffer is in this pedal. So I've got my blend all the way favored to my, uh, my clean bass. This is my uh, signal with the pedal in bypass mode turned off. Go ahead and turn it on. Bring my level up to match my clean tone. Actually, that doesn't make a difference uh, with my clean tone. That only affects the level of the drive. So, virtually unaffected tone um, with the blend all the way towards my dry signal. I'll go ahead and set the blend at 50-50. Put the level at 50-50 and drive at 50-50. I have my uh, attack um, set uh, to off. I don't have the boost on there. And I also have the grunt uh, set to raw, which I believe is also essentially off or unaffected. We'll go ahead and uh, play with the pick a little bit first. And uh, bump our drive up to three o'clock position. Thank you. 
go ahead and uh, flip the attack switch on. Off again to compare. It adds some nice presence. I really like the uh, attack switch on. We'll go ahead and experiment with the grunt switch a little bit. Right now it's on raw. Flip it up to its mid position of thin. So you notice it sounds uh, much thinner, a little bit of low end loss there. setting um, you know up higher in your fret registry we'll go ahead and flip that to fat uh, which adds a little bit of low-end kick I think a little bit of punch I'll go ahead and compare our grunt switch um, in the all the way up position to raw. So not a huge low end boost, but it is noticeable and I like it. I find myself leaving the toggles in uh, the position you see them here, both flipped all the way up. We'll go ahead and uh, turn the drive down a little bit, um, leaving our blend once again at 50-50 clean and affected, and uh, leaving the level at about 50%. I'm going to go ahead and A-B the uh, level real quick uh, with my unaffected, with the drive at 9 o'clock. Seems like this could use a little boost. pretty good. So that adds us a little bit of grit on your signal. I like that a lot. It's definitely usable as a full-time overdrive. You can use it on your tone, uh, honestly, for a full set. style a little bit. So definitely usable pedal finger style. Go ahead and uh, turn the drive up again, and I want to show you how dynamic this pedal is. I find you can really uh, get the pedal to react to your attack. Um, lighter attack, you know, it'll uh, it'll give you a little bit of drive, and as soon as you dig in a little bit more, it's really responsive. <laughs> bit of a uh, palm muting in there. Uh, for those of you who play with picks, um, you can really get some nice dynamic changes out of the pedal, as you just heard.
Uh, we'll go ahead and blend um, full affected and uh, turn our drive all the way up. And uh, you can hear we do have a little bit of noise. Some would maybe call substantial, but uh, it's kind of kind of expected for a driver distortion pedal. Go ahead and turn my level down a little bit once again to match my clean signal. Attack off, go to thin. So, there you have it, the Microtubes B3K from Dark Glass Electronics. It is by far uh, my favorite bass overdrive pedal that I've used, and I found myself leaving it on full-time just to add a little bit of grit to my signal, and uh, teamed up with a compressor and a full-time reverb pedal. It is definitely a necessary part of my signature sound and my rig.